The Tri Pride Parade and Festival is taking over downtown Johnson City this weekend. The festival offers something fun for everyone, and the president of Tri Pride, Melody Taylor, is joining us today to give us all the details. Melody, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Well, first off, let's talk about who the Grand Marshals are this year for Tri Pride. Yeah, so this year we actually have two Grand Mar Marshals that we are um, extremely excited about. Our mm -hmm. first one is Tennessee State Representative Gloria Johnson. We are lucky enough to get some time in her schedule, so she's coming down from Knoxville to lead off the parade. And then we also have a second John Grand Marshal. Um, his name is John Meadows. He actually won Miss Gay America in 1984, so he's a nice um, chunk of LGBTQ history. He's actually won when he was based in Johnson City. So Awesome. And so tell me just a little bit about why you wanted to bring these people here to Johnson City for this Tri Pride. Yeah, so um, obviously Representative um, Gloria Johnson has done a lot just for um, pushing equality. She does a lot with education in schools. We pride ourselves on being an all ages event. We really want to support um, the LGBTQ youth and we feel like she shares that mission. Um, so it was great to have her come and support our um, message along with hers. And then um, as I said, John Meadows is just a really great piece of Johnson City LGBTQ history. Mm -hmm. So it's really an honor to have someone that you know, pave the path for what we're able to do now to come out and lead our festival as well. And let's talk a little bit about what else there is to offer. I know that we were chatting earlier. You want everyone to come to Tri Pride. It is not just for an age group or for a certain group of people. It's for everybody. Exactly. We want this to be an all ages, community, fun filled event. We have something for everyone. We have over 160 vendors. That's everything from health services um, to large corporations to small businesses, crafters, arts and crafts. Um, you name it, we've probably got it. We also have an um, incredible lineup of entertainment, everything from drag performers um, to bands. We have a rap, hip hop artist. So there truly is something for everyone and we want everyone to feel welcome. Um, it's not just specifically for the LGBTQ community. It's also for our allies, for our friends, for our families. Let's talk a little bit about some of those performances. Tell me who's coming for those. Yeah, so um, I don't know if everyone's heard. Hopefully they have, <laughs> but our um, headliner is actually actually um, a hometown hero of ours, Eureka O'Hare. We're very excited to have her back. Um, she started in Johnson City performing at New Beginnings um, and they actually partnered with us to bring her back um, to perform at this year's festival. Um, she was on RuPaul's Drag Show. She's been on AJ and the Queen, that movie, and then the HBO series um, she stars in called We're Here. So it's really um, a great honor to have her back, you know, seeing her growth and how much she's Succeeded is really um, quite inspirational. How fun. Well, it sounds like a great weekend here in Johnson City. Let's talk about that parade route real quick and where people can park to enjoy all of this. Yeah, of course. So um, we kind of joke as the may the odds ever be in your favor <laughs> Always as, downtown. <laughs> yeah, for downtown parking, but all of the usual um, parking is public parking lots are open um, with the exception of the one at the very end of Founders Park that will be in our festival grounds and the one in the back of Boone um, Boone Street. But other than that, any of the typical um, public parking lots that you park in on the weekend will be available to park in as well as street parking. Um, and as far as street closures go, the only street that will be closed for the majority of the time is Commerce Street. Um, starting at 5 a.m. it will be closed from North Roan Street all the way down to State of Franklin. Um, but that back half from Wilson, right where Wild Rings is, um, back to North Roan Street will open up once the parade completes. Sounds good. Well, what a great weekend on tap for you all. Thank you so much for joining us. And again, the Tri Pride Festival is happening tomorrow. That parade kicks off at 11 a.m. in downtown Johnson City, and it will wrap up in Founders Park and at the pavilion there where that festival is happening right after. It will feature more than 160 vendors with some live performances. They will also be offering STI and HIV testing. For more information about that festival, go ahead and head on over to WJHL.com.